So you've got your national diploma in mechanical or electrical engineering, and you want to obtain the GCC factories, but you are stuck on the subject requirements from the Department of Employment and Labor. Now, in this video, I'm going to break down the subject requirements if you are applying as a route two applicant. So as you would remember, there are three main routes to obtaining the GCC factories. So there's route one, where the applicant will have a bachelor's degree in mechanical or electrical engineering. Then there will be route two, where you've got a national diploma from a Technicon. So this is what we call the S modules, where you've completed your S modules. And then in route two, it also includes persons who have their BTEC, if you've got your advanced diploma, or you've completed the new BNG tech. So all of those applicants will fall under this route two. Then route three, it's the national N diploma applicants, where you would have completed your N4 to N6, done your in-service training, you've completed your apprentice, and you've got the minimum years of experience, then you can apply as a route three. Now, the subject requirements for route one, pretty straightforward, there's none, because the qualification in itself covers the plant engineering syllabus. Now, when it comes to route two, what the Department of Labor says is that your qualification needs to have covered the plant engineering syllabus. The plant engineering syllabus that the department provides is actually a list of different topics that your qualification or the modules that you've completed in your qualification will cover. So in this video, I'm going to break down how can you link those topics to your qualification. Now, if we look at route three, for route three, the department has made it simple because they've provided the list of subjects that the route three applicants need to complete. So there's also that route four, where it's other qualifications. And we're not going to talk about that too much because those ones are taken on a case by case basis. With that said, let us now go into the details on how you can deal with this issue of the subject requirements if you are a route two applicant. Now, this is the syllabus for plant engineering that the Department of Employment and Labor wants your qualification to comply with. So as I've said that for route one, where you've got a bachelor's in mechanical or electrical engineering, then it is somewhat covered because you can see their plant engineering to be covered by universities and technicons. So now it's just that in some of the technicons, they do not cover all the topics. And this is where when you are applying for the GCC factories that the Department of Employment and Labor will say to you, you need to do additional modules. Now you can see that in this syllabus from the department, it's not very specific to say, what is the actual module that you are doing, but instead it's giving the different topics that need to be covered by your qualification or your syllabus, right? So then they split it between mechanical and electrical. And then basically you need to then go and look at the modules that you have completed in your studies and see if these topics are covered. If you look then on the syllabus itself, there's safety and management, there's electrical technology and all the topics there are provided. So obviously now on the left, it's mechanical. On the right, it's electrical. There's applied thermodynamics, there's structures, and we've got the theory of machines and the topics, fluids and the topics, and environment and the different topics that need to be covered. So in this video, I'm just going to make an example using the Val University of Technology National Diploma. And basically the principles remain the same. So just follow the steps as I'm doing them. And then you will see that whether you are evaluating from Deben University of Technology or you're evaluating from a UJ point of view, or you're evaluating your advanced diploma, or you're evaluating your BTEC, your BNG tech, it doesn't really matter. So just stick to the principles that I'm going to be showing you. Now, if we come here, you'll see that on the side, I've got then the Val University of Technology brochure for the different qualifications. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the mechanical section and then on the mechanical section, then we're going to look at the mechanical diploma. And then from that mechanical diploma, we're going to break down or compare it to this plant engineering syllabus that is required by the Department of Employment and Labor. If you check this document that I've done over here, basically I've just extracted all the information that is required 
for the plant engineering syllabus from a mechanical point of view so there you see safety again electrical technology we go on there there's applied demos and so forth and so forth on this document from the val university of technology i'm just going to go on and look for mechanical engineering and now i'm just going to try to zoom this in and we are looking for the national diploma in mechanical engineering so there is the qualification on the mechanical engineering and you'll see that in this mechanical engineering qualification okay it says it's three years full-time and then it's giving the different modules that are being done on this qualification all right so now let's break this thing down according to the plant engineering syllabus that is required by the department of employment and labor what i've already done here i've sort of pre-populated if you look at this part over here which is talking about safety elements and so forth and management elements you see that if you go to the actual qualification that this is covered under the safety principles and law one if you go there there's the mechanical and then we are looking for that safety principles there is the safety principles and law one if you go look at the topics that are covered under the safety principles and law one you'll see that it covers matters of accident prevention loss control basically all the general safety requirements that you need to comply with in order to be a competent engineer or technician in this case we can see that from this syllabus that is from the mechanical engineering there is that module if we carry on and we go for example now the electrical technology then you'll see that you've got electrical engineering one so you can see that in year two semester one that you cover electrical engineering one over there so you will see that in electrical engineering one if you look at the study guide or the textbooks used then you will see that you are actually covering a majority of the electrical engineering topics so if you wanna make sure that you are meeting this requirement then you can just go to your textbook or your study guide and then from there look for all these different topics and if those topics are there then you can easily tick them out as you proceed now let's move on to the next section if you look at the next section um, the applied thermodynamics that you are completing the thermodynamics 2 thermodynamics 3 right so those are in the second year got this thermodynamics 2 over there and you've got then your thermodynamics 3 over there and then in year 3 you've got the steam plant over there as you can see that there's a lot of thermodynamics topics that you're covering and in those thermodynamics topics if you check again your textbook or your study guide and you can take off all of these topics from there then you are meeting those requirements then if we look at structures you've got strength two and you've got applied strength three which is highly likely to cover all these different topics over there so what you're gonna do is just go to your textbook or your study guide for these modules and then take off the different topics so once you've got those topics then you know that you have met those requirements we move on to the theory of machines then you can see that again on the theory of machines you've got the mechanics of machines which covers a lot of the topics that are here so go and then look at your study guide from your study guide or the textbook that you're using then you can start taking off these different topics over there then on fluids you've got hydraulic machine three and the fluid mechanics three so those you are doing in third year and if we carry on we can also find the fluid mechanics two right which is done in your second year so if you come here on the second year you've got we are looking for fluid mechanics two and then there's a fluid mechanics three over there fluid mechanics two over there right so you can then again look at your study guide look at your textbook and then you can take off those different topics from there then when it comes to environment if i look at the syllabus there's no specific topic on environment but there is this topic on social intelligence and in this social intelligence it's basically covering the theory related to other social um, considerations from an engineering point of view which could very well cover 
the environmental impact of engineering and making sure that whatever we're doing as engineers or technicians, we are looking after the environment and the people around us, all right? So with this social intelligent module, then you would then typically go and make sure that we are ticking off all these different topics, right? So this is the electrical engineering diploma, power engineering. So that's the one that we are looking for. You can see that it covers that social intelligence part. So it will also cover that story of the safety principles and law that is over there. So the only other thing then we need to be checking is um, predominantly the mechanical subjects. So if we look at the electrical syllabus, we can already see that you don't have the strength of material. It's predominantly um, issues of electrical engineering. So when it comes to the electrical candidates, a lot of these topics you don't have, especially on the fluid mechanics side, the, the theory of machine and the strength of materials. And that's why for a lot of the electrical applicants, you have to do more subjects. On the mechanical side, you will see that they may say to you that you need to do few electrical subjects. And then from those electrical subjects, then you are covered. As you can see here from the mechanical side, um, as I, I was saying that you've got this electrical engineering one, which could very well cover all the different topics, but you just need to go check it against the topics that are covered over there. When you are a national diploma applicant, all you got to do is to check your syllabus against the plant engineering topics. And if you've got those topics in your syllabus, then you match it according to the actual modules that you've completed. Now, what happens then if you submit your application and then when you submit your application, then labor says you must do a subject to cover a topic that you know that it has already been covered. Then you can respond to labor and say to them, listen, let's say for argument's sake, they say that um, you must go do supervisory management because supervisory management covers these topics, the accident prevention, fire, whatever. So you can then go back and respond and say, no, I have got safety principles and this is the breakdown of the safety safety principles and you can provide them with your study guide or with the table of content for the textbook that you are using and then they will consider it on that basis. So as you can see, this subject requirement for national diploma applicants, it's not as complicated as people try to make it out to be. The big time waster from a lot of the people is that they keep wanting someone to evaluate or check for them if they meet the subject requirements. And my advice all the time is stop wasting time, just submit your application. Or if you're not submitting your application, just follow the basic principles that I am showing you right now. So don't waste time. If you've got your national diploma in mechanical or electrical engineering, or you've, you've done the BNG tech, or you've got your advanced diploma, your BTEC, whatever the case may be, what I've demonstrated to you right now is exactly how the Department of Employment and Labor evaluates the subjects from your qualification. So there is no set subjects per se that the Department of Employment and Labor provides for applicants who have a national diploma or the route to applicants. You just need to demonstrate that your qualification covers the plant engineering topics. So I hope this clarifies a lot of the confusion when it comes to the GCC factories subject requirements for the national diploma in mechanical or electrical engineering applicants.